What's up, you guys? I don't know who this message is for, but I know I gotta get it out. So, Let me go ahead and get it out. I got. I don't know this this message. Um, if I got like one, two, three, four, about four, five messages, I don't know if it's gonna. One of them could be for you, or all of them could be um pertaining to you. I don't know. I'm gonna see what, what who's this sign. What's the sign? One, four, two. I always pull it this time. Okay, this is six. I get water, so this is, um, you know, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Okay, let's get one more. And we have Earth Sign. <clears throat> okay, let's go ahead and get started. And so, but, you know, it could be for any sign, y'all. Just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Uh, so, we have... I have child thief and I have money. So, um, and I clarified that and I got pay attention to the signs. I feel like somebody's trying to um kidnap a baby. Yeah, I know it's been a lot of uh sex trafficking and people stealing kids. And I feel like in the next couple of days, um, look, <clears throat> in the next couple of days, um, somebody need to pay attention to the signs because somebody's trying to take somebody's baby. I bullshit you not, okay, for some money, okay? Look, they might try to come sneak through your window or, you know, or this. I, I know this ain't, I don't feel like this already happened. Okay, pay attention to the sign. Pay attention to people trying to come back acting like they love you. They really don't. They really just trying to get their baby. And I'm just being real. I just got to be blunt and just say it because this is what I see. Okay, I'm also seeing... um. Somebody really wanted to come back. Somebody like they can't let go. Like they 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 not wanted to let you go. Okay, I'm seeing like the devil card in my head and the temptation. They really tempted. Look, this person could be married. Okay, I know for sure if they're not married, they had you in a third party situation. But however, they want to come back. They want a reunion, but they sick. And it's something that they need to tell you. Okay, if they try to come back this period, they if they don't tell you this because it's something they need to tell you. And this is one of them right here. Um, that, and it might be something concerning the marriage, okay? Whoever this person they had you in the third party with gave them something and they want to come back. But and I feel like they tempted to come back just to give you this shit just just because, you know what I'm saying? It, yep, maybe you let go or, or they need to let go because I feel like it's over, okay? So this 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 a message, but I feel like it's like a lot of gossip and conversation going on around uh, in this situation with this person. I feel like it's a lot of gossip. This is like a, a overall energy to me because in all these scenarios, it's a lot of gossip going around, okay? Okay, moving on. I'm trying to make it to where y'all understand what's going on. Okay, right here we got somebody um that you work with or somebody somebody work with, right? They, um, let me see how can I say this. I'm seeing like a man trying to kill themselves, trying to hurt themselves. Like you tried to jump off like a, maybe like a, a two story, three story, or something at work, cause you get caught. You you get. They found out that you was you, that you are gay. You know what I'm saying? I have nothing against nobody. This you know, but I'm just saying this is you right here, all in your head. And I feel like you was at work trying to commit suicide, and I feel like you also gonna go home and try to do the same thing. But I know for a fact. See, this is like you at home trying to commit suicide. Okay, you in despair, and I feel like you perform some kind of services. I feel like. Whoever this person is at work that they found out that you was gay, I feel uh, uh um you still messing with girls and the girls that you messing with um work there too at the job too. So it's like she found out and they found you know, everybody found out. So they made you wanna commit suicide. Okay, and then um I clarified that and I got inner child and I got sell out. You feel like this person sold you out. You know what I'm saying? You feel like a sellout. And then we got cycles. And we got inner child. I feel like something happened to you um, when you was a child. They got a lot to do with what you know the reason why you like you are now. I feel like you got like a, a lot of inner childhood wounds. Cause if you can see on still out, this woman is wounded right here. You see the blood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's something that, because cycles came out, but it's in reverse. So it's like you may need to work on your inner childhood, work on it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's something concerning your inner childhood that you haven't got over that you need to go back to. You know what I'm saying? Okay, um, let me see. What's the next message? Okay, we got, look, military. Somebody's in the military. And I think it's a big deal for military men to cheat on their wife or the military woman to cheat on. I, believe, I, I feel like it's a big deal to people. 
You know what I'm saying? And, but however, I feel like I'm talking to somebody who's mad, y'all. Mad, y'all. That my overall energy on both cars is home. Ooh, home. On both of them is home. So I feel like in this scenario, if somebody want a reunion with you, they're going to come back to your house. But this person got a disease. You know what I'm saying? They're going to come to your home. Okay? they right here. Look, somebody trying to snatch a child, they're going to come to your home. The overall energy is home. So pay attention to the signs. Okay? And this person right here in despair, it's like they, you know what I'm saying, they got found out at work that they were gay, right? And I feel like they're going to go home and still try to commit suicide. So somebody need to watch this person, whoever I'm talking about. And right here, I feel like um, this military, I feel like your wife stay on the military base. Or your girlfriend stay on the military base. And you cheat on your wife with this other woman. Um, I don't know why it came out, but it just came out like that. I, I ain't clarified that, but I think I, I'm finna clarify it now. I don't see why I didn't clarify it, but, yeah. And I feel like this is a big deal. I, I feel like it's coming out that you were cheating on your wife. And, shit, I don't know. This. I don't know. It's something up with this military man, right? Let's see what's going on. But I really feel like it's like a big deal for you to be cheating. And they, <laughs> Entrapment. Mm, 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 mm. I'm hearing your wife. You feel trapped with her? You feel like she's. Wow. Wow. Okay, I'm, I'm so I feel like you're not happy with with um oh okay look y'all got soulmate. So you're not happy with this wife, you feel like this young lady is your soulmate. That's how you feel. And you feel like this wife traps you. Okay, you, maybe you feel like this wife is like kind of basic and she's not willing to learn anything or, you know, she's just not like on the level that you are. Like, you know, what you've been through, you, she can't relate to what you've been through, but this other woman can, see what I'm saying? Because y'all kind of been through the same thing, so y'all can relate. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Let me get one more. Yeah, look, sadness, procrastinate. I feel like you really sad that that you. <laughs> this gonna sound so fucking fucked up, <laughs> but I feel like somebody like so sad with their wife. They really do not want to, like they don't want to be a part of this man. And it's sad to say. It's sad to say. Somebody sad with their wife. They no longer they no longer want to be with this person. They want to go to this um this young lady right here. They whoever this man is, look whoever this, look. I hope I'm not afraid to y'all because it's like yeah, all my stuff falling. Look, somebody this man right here in the military. He did it with a young lady. He also married, but this young lady right here is his soulmate. This is who this person want to be with. Okay, this is who this person want to be with. They feel like this their soulmate. Look. And they happy with this person. They ready to celebrate with this person. Yeah. Definitely stuff that your wife is making you sit, making you sad. That's great. Okay, I'm done with that. Let's clarify. Um, I hope my reading is not all over the place, but this is how y'all. This is how the energies come to me. It be like all over the place. I be trying to get all the messages out. I don't know, you know, it, this these messages could be for more than one person is what I'm saying. So, y'all just bear with me and, you know, 
Just, just try to understand. So this, um, I want to do a little clarifying on this, um, somebody trying to take a child. So in the next, next couple of days, y'all, uh, somebody needs to be aware of it and pay attention to it. Pay attention to it. You know the signs, because you, I clarified it, and you have to pay attention to the signs. So you most definitely need to pay attention to the signs around you. Somebody want me to say that. Okay, let me clarify this. I'm hearing that song like a thief in the night. Somebody really like, y'all, y'all, this is what's going on. That's why I be hearing, hide your kids, hide your wives, because this is what they're doing now. Um, I'm actually saying, you know, I just say that for another read. But they snatching kids right now. This is what they're doing. Se Herman sex trafficking is, is, is all that's going on right now. Y'all just need to be careful with the kids. Be good, heartbroken, yep. Somebody about to be heartbroken if you don't pay attention. If you don't pay attention to what's going on around you, your child is going to come up missing. I'm telling you, pay attention. Now, I'm telling you, this is a warning. You being warned. You being warned. Yep, look. At the swords, you will be in mental conflict. And they ass will be in jail. Whoever this person is, they finna try to get up under you to manipulate you. Look. That, look, I'm telling you that why you gotta pay attention. You see that? Don't try to get a play up under you. They trying to get paid. They trying to get this baby so they can get paid. That's what they're doing it for. Look, this person sneaking in your window. I'm hearing no remorse. They ain't got no remorse. Let me get one more. One more. Look, it came out. The magician card. It came out again. Look. They ain't going to have no remorse. They try to manipulate the situation to try to snatch your baby. So pay attention because I don't want you to be heartbroken over something that I'm telling you about that can be avoided. Okay, um... Oh, yeah. So now let's um clarify. Um, this person right here is trying to come back, but but have a uh, uh um STD. I don't know. I feel like I hope they tell you, but what I'm what I'm what I'm getting right here is they not, you know, because it's like temptation. They tempted. Why are you tempted to come back to somebody if you want a reunion if you're not trying to, you know, give them something? You know what I'm saying? Tempted shouldn't be here. This shouldn't even be right here. Was they tempted by something? Look at this. Yeah. Look. Five of swords. Uh, uh, don't, don't, don't even. I wouldn't even listen to the. I guess people can be so devilish. This ain't nothing but this is it's pretty here. This conflict to me. This is you see that fire in the background, like they trying to stir up some shit. Like I wouldn't even uh that person where they hit. Yep, left out in the cold. That's where they need to be. This how they feel. They feel left out in the cold. It's something that they is like I'm hearing revenge. I'm hearing revenge. Somebody could be homeless. Yeah, I feel like you, you may have walked away from this person. It was a third party here, though. For sure, that's how they get what they get. That's how they get their disease. And it's like they're trying to come back. Yep, they were dealing with the Queen of Swords. They were dealing with the Queen of Swords. And they stuck. Okay, I'm getting Pisces energy. This is Pisces energy. I don't know. I feel like this person got too much going on because they got like a court situation going on. Could be because of this or some more other stuff, but they got a lot going on. They re they reckless too. Could be a Pisces. Yeah, look, lovers card. They going to court. It's, this is no. I wouldn't get in it. 
They weren't getting it. They got too much going on. And they trying to come back to you. They tempted to come back to you. <laughs> Why are you so tempted? Okay, they immature. I'm here immature. I just said the wheel of fortune. So it could be because of some money. Or it could be just because. I don't know. I feel like this person is um trying to give you something. That's why. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, we got the Eight of Cups. Um, you know, your emotions. I feel like your emotions not in this no more. In it with this person no more. I'm getting like this person kept up a lot of illusions. You know what I'm saying? That's why you touch your back on this person. Six of Swords. Okay? Yeah, so then I get the world card. So you touch your back on somebody. And you get, to get, you get the world. Okay? Yeah, so that's this, 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 that. This you know, do not go back. Period. Okay, so let's clarify this person. It, it weren't trying to um harm themselves. Let's clarify that. Let's be what you want to say about this. Damn, I know people, I know, you know, you're going through it. You be going through a lot, but killing yourself is, or hurting yourself is never an option. I mean, you know, then you being selfish because I know you got people here that love you. It's just never an option. Why would you want to do that? Why? I mean, just because today not great, tomorrow may not be great, don't mean that the next day not, you know, not going to be great. Don't, don't do that. Y'all quit cutting on yourself and thinking y'all not good enough. You know what I'm saying? Because you are. Judgment. Yeah. Hmm. Damn, that's crazy. And I'm getting like a lot of people made fun of this person. You know what I'm saying? Because they gay. They made fun of this person. They being judged for it. Everybody, they being judged for it. And you also going to be judged if you try to harm yourself. You going to be judged for that too. She sure is. You going to be judged for that too. Seven of Swords trying to get away with something. Sneaking around. Yeah. Because I feel like there was a lot of people involved in this. A lot of people, I feel like a lot of people got fired too. A lot of people got fired. Y'all need to mind y'all business. This ain't had nothing to do with y'all. I'm just seeing a group of people standing around. I'm talking about somebody really trying to harm themselves. Yeah, see, they thought they were going to get away with it, but they're not going to get away with this. Whatever this is around this job, I feel like y'all going to get fired. I feel like they're going to get fired. And I feel like, yep, the tower, yep, they're going to get fired. But I feel like whatever happened when you was a child, whoever I'm talking to, whatever happened, is like, um, that I feel like somebody did something to you when you was a child, maybe molested or something, you know, I'm just going to have to say it. And I feel like they thought they got away with this shit. But whatever it is, you know, it's bringing the same thing out in you. It's like you the same way, you the same way. But they're going to be judged for it. And I feel like these people at work going to be judged for it. Whoever this person is sold you out. Because I don't know how it came out at work. But I feel like somebody snitched. And then you also, you know, have a relationship with a girl at work. So, you know what I'm saying? All that, all that you know what I'm saying, on you. It's like making you want to, you know, harm yourself. Which is not still not okay. You know what I'm saying? It'll, it'll get better. But they're not going to get away with it. So, don't, don't worry about it. I feel like you feel like it's an injustice. But it's going to, you know, justice will be served with it. You get the towel, y'all. Did y'all see how that towel flew out? They gonna look the the night of souls, yeah. Look, did I just say you, you gonna get your justice for this? Justice, you see that? Justice will be served. Don't worry about it. Folks will be so cruel. Then it's even at your job. You already gotta come home and deal with it. You gotta come home and deal with it. Then you gotta go to work and deal with it. Yeah. So I hope that resonated with y'all. I hope that helped. Um. I hope y'all could y'all could understand, you know what I'm saying? The reading. But um yeah. Thank y'all for being here. Bye.